Couple Florida State guys with me today. I tried to wear as close to the color as possible, but I wanted to just kind of start with that. Why is that school so good at producing DBs? Derwin, you can start. Uh, I'll just say, just a swag from back in the day. You know, started with Terrell Buckley and Deion Sanders and all those guys. You know, and guys like myself, Jalen Rams, Cezant, we just wanted to carry on that same tradition. And uh, everybody know Florida State produced the best DBs. DBU? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Asante, what have you guys kind of maybe taken from your time at Florida State now into the NFL? Uh, well, Florida State, just like you said, we had great guys there. So uh, just being able to compete every day with the uh, top talent and uh, great coaches while we were there. And uh, yeah, just bringing it to the next level, just really translating to the next level. A few weeks into the 2021 season, how are we feeling right now? We're feeling good. Yeah. We, we, we want to be undefeated right now, but we're feeling good. <laughs> it's OK. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're going to keep doing what we're doing, though. Derwin, I know that after the 2020 season, you and I spoke and you said you were starving. You were so ready to be out here. Still hungry, even oh, after these few years? Oh, first yeah, few I'm games? definitely hungry, but I'm getting fed a little bit, so <laughs> I'm, feeling, I'm feeling better. Looking left, throwing left, intercepted! Picked off by Derwin James! Derwin James just put this one to bed. When Asante was drafted, he said you were in his ear. You were telling him, I want to play with you. Oh, yeah. You get that. How's oh, it been going? Oh, it's been good. You know, I told y'all the whole process. Everybody know. Uh, the, the thousand text messages I sent to Coach Staley, you know, everybody. I wanted to get my guy here. You know, I didn't think he'd make it to there, but, you know, he made it to us. You know, it was a blessing, you know, you to have him here and y'all can see what we got. Derwin James has been lobbying for you for weeks. Yeah, I know. That's my guy. That's my guy right there. How many text messages did he send you? Uh, just a couple, you know, you never know how the drive goes. So, uh, after the second round, I mean, after the first round, he was like, yeah, we might get you. So I was just trying to see how it goes, and it's going good so far. Good. I will never be tripping on you. I'm behind you. Hey, I'm behind you. How helpful is it having someone like Derwin in the secondary, both on the field and off of it? It's definitely helpful um, having like a, a big brother on and off the field and just to, uh, teach you the way, teach you the little things of the game and uh, off the field too. So uh, it's definitely helpful and I appreciate him for that. Dak all kinds of time, middle of the field, intercepted, overthrew his man. Intercepted by Asante Samuel Jr., the rookie. He's the reigning defensive rookie of the month. For sure, man. He worked hard, though. Yeah. Like, a lot of people don't see, you know, they just see, you know, the out day, output on Sunday, but, you know, it's a lot of work. You know, he humble. He don't, he don't really think he better than nobody, but he come in, he got his own swag, got a chip on his shoulder. So, you know, he, we know what we got. Is it that swag that maybe sets Asante apart? Yeah, for sure. It, it definitely set him apart, you know, because <laughs> I didn't play with a lot of great DBs. I didn't yeah. play with a lot of young guys, too. You know, to be able to have your head on, how you got it, you know, coming into this league and confident. You know, it ain't cocky or arrogant, it's just confident, believing in yourself. You know, that's going to take you a long way. What did earning that honor mean for you? It's something this guy never even did his rookie season. Right. <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, it was definitely a, a huge honor, but I couldn't have did without my teammates, uh, the coaches calling the right plays. So, I mean, it, it was an a individual award, but it's really for the team uh, defensively. And that ball is intercepted. His second consecutive interception. When you talk about the team, just what is the bond like, both on this defense and just overall, too? To me, it's like a family, man. We all tied in together. You know, that, that kind of get thrown around a lot. Cliche, family, family. But You know, every team want to be a family. But I really feel it from our guys, especially our DB room. You know, we can go to pretty much anybody, and anybody can have a conversation, you know, with each other about anything. So, you know, I, I like the way we're going with our team. Does that help you as a young player, first-year player right now? Oh, yeah, definitely, because uh, I hear different stories from my uh, other homeboys that play on different teams, and the, the chemistry is just not there like how it is here. So uh, I, I definitely thank God for being able to be in a, a situation where everybody's so tight. Let's go. The end of every play is a takeaway. Hi, Zant. Derwin, talk to me about Coach Staley because you mentioned you're texting him on draft night. Oh, yeah. That was very early on in oh, this yeah. relationship, but just how has it grown and what does he mean to this team? That's like my main man now. Nah. That's like <laughs> that's my guy now, nah, man. Um, you know, we've been together for a couple months, but you know, I feel like I've been knowing him longer. Just know you got the beat down. I got you, bro. Okay. You know, the type of relationship, the bond he brings to our team, you know, the focus he brings, the detail he brings, I feel like. It's just going to bring the best out of us, and we're going to keep getting better every week as a team, not just individual, but as a team. You'll see this team continue to get better because we got a great, great guy leading. You mentioned that word family. Just how is this group really gelling together right now? We're gelling good because, like I say, it's, it's kind of easy to gel when you're winning, but I feel like whether we're winning or losing, I feel like we'll be gelling. And um, like I say, we got a great team. 
got to keep it moving tomorrow just like it was last week. Love everybody in here at Break It Down. Yeah. And then last question for both of you, Asante, you can start just kind of what's the potential you see with this unit and this team? Oh, I see all the way. We just got to do what we got to do on the field and just keep going and not get complacent and uh, just keep grinding. It's a week by week thing in the NFL. You can't get too comfortable. Same thing. You hit it on the head. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's it right there. Awesome. Thanks, guys. All right, thank you. No problem. If you want to see more content like this, check out the link right here.